Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. One out and one in, as we saw here. Heading to the post office first thing. Looking absolutely fantastic. This one, shipping out. And we're gonna be receiving a goodie. Goodie, but tootie. Goodie, goodie, but goodie schmoozy. All right, let's go grab it. Oh, messed up my little map there. Hello, kitty cat. What do we got? This one's actually pretty heavy. There's something really good in that one. All right, I gotta go to the post office, so we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, current time, 5.13 p.m., and you're going, Chris, 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 you're going to the post office. Now it's 5.13 p.m., office is closed. My friends, I got a secret post office that stays open until 5.30. It's my secret one because not too many people know about it in the area or the lines would be longer. But again, we need to go over this in some vlogs coming up guys, but I wanna show you my Streamline eBay setup. Meaning, how do I print my own labels from home and then what I literally do is I walk in the door, set it on the counter, and I walk out. I don't have to sit in the line, I don't have to deal with any credit cards, any debit cards. I literally have my boxes and my labels at home. Boom, just drop it off, boom, set it down, boom, we're good to go. Plus it gets me out of the house, sun is shining 80 degrees Fahrenheit on the thermometer meter-ish-er. And also I wanted to holler at you guys because, you know what, I need to get up earlier, earlier meaning that I need to not stay up as late. It's a little bit tricky, especially because I wanna get a full day in and then edit the vlog. I think what I'm gonna have to do, especially with my dumpster diving that I like to do, I like to dumpster dive late in the evening when nobody is around. That is a little bit trickier because what happens is when you try to dive earlier in the evening, you got dog walkers, all that sort of good stuff. So for dumpster diving, those nights I might have to stay up a little bit later, but I really need to kind of uh, fill the day up and get fired up a little quicker in the daytime. Because one of the main reasons is that I have a trunk full of used motor oil and it's all in one of those like boxes you know like you would take to the office if you got fired you would pack all your stuff up in one of those cardboard boxes with the handles or if you're moving or whatever anywho what I'm trying to say guys is that that place closes at 3 p.m. I've been driving around with a trunk full of used motor oil for like a month and a half because <laughs> I just haven't gotten out of the house pre 3 p.m. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Chris, you lazy booty. You know what I'm saying? Well, sometimes that is true. But again, a lot of the times I'm up late into the wee hours of the morning diving or editing videos. And so that unfortunately prevents me from getting my tushy out and about. And I actually have very lazy mornings. I like to chill. I like to make some coffee, my smoothie sit on the couch for like 45 minutes, read my Bible, I pray in the morning, I do all that fun stuff, which for me is the most important part of the day. So guys, let's get going, because sky's the limit today. Hey guys, take a look, there is my Goodwill drop box that we were at last night, yay! Now the only problem with this post office is the parking absolutely sucks. Now the only other issue with the post office is in the corner there is a bunch of old dudes that just sit around and puff on cigars like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know? They're like, hey, little man. Hey, what are you just selling there on eBay, eh? Me and, uh, yeah, me and the, uh, the colonel, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna go loot the, uh, we're gonna pillage the village. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, enough animations and emojis. Let's go ship some stuff. Next stop, grocery store, where all your dreams will come true. We're gonna pick up the essentials, my friends. Now, ladies and 
gentlemen, quick story. I'm always a positive guy. I like to be a positive guy. I don't like to be negative at all. But sometimes, my friends, you have to teach people lessons. Now, what does that mean, teaching people lessons? Well, let me rephrase the question and tell you a little gander of a story. So, just coming back from the grocery store right now, wasn't vlogging or anything like that. I was just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Life is not a rush. I was driving the appropriate speed limit, which I always do. I never speed in my car or anything like that. Well, this lady, you know, I just, eh, what irks me a little bit in California as well is there's too many people that are rushing around. They're putting lives in jeopardy because they're just speeding for no apparent reason. You know, whether it be go home and cook or running errands or whatnot, but I just noticed on the roads, people are driving like madmen, weaving in and out, really like riding each other's bumpers and stuff like that. So let's get back to the story. So I'm pulling out of the grocery store. I'm letting people go in front of me because obviously, you know, I'm not gonna pull out in traffic and risk an accident for about five extra seconds. So I pull out and go down the street and this lady, I'm looking in my rear view mirror and she's just kind of swerving behind me but really riding my bumper and I'm like, you know what? This is where you teach people a lesson. You go the speed limit and not one mile per hour over the speed limit, and you literally stop full three seconds at stop signs. So anyway, as I go to get in the right-hand lane after, this is about maybe, yeah, quarter mile of this, she whips around next to me to turn left as I'm turning right, and I look at her like, you know, what's what's up? You know, why, why are you rubbing my bumper? She throws up her hands like, why are you driving the speed limit? She's trying to say that I'm driving slow, but you know, hey, I'm driving the speed limit that's how things are so guess what I put up my hand not in any vulgar manner or anything like that I just say like what's up what's the problem you know what I'm saying you got to teach people lessons on the freeway you got to teach them a lesson if they're trying to weave around you boom just cruise put on some tunes don't let them bother you you know what I'm saying because sky's the limit baby when you're positive things happen all right ladies and gentlemen first up first up first up let's start with the uh, let's start with this okay Let's see what we got. Yeah, very nice. We have a RUIPUO supports 4K, 2K, and 3D. And this is gonna be an HDMI splitter. Absolutely fantastic. It is an HDMI splitter, meaning that it has input here, and sorry, I gotta keep it in the plastic because I gotta take some pictures of it, but put an HDMI input here, and then you have four outputs here, and you have your little DC power adapter thing right here. And so that is actually gonna be for the man cave because again, I have like two or three TVs down there, and so I want to be able to split up the same input to outputs. Absolutely fantastic, that came for review. Next up, next up's gonna be the big dog here, my friend. Friends, the big dog. This one actually has a little bit of weight to it, so either they put a couple of different ones in here, or potentially it could be something real good. So let's go ahead and dive on in and see what the synopsis is. Ah, very nice, my friends, very nice. This one, in particular, my wife is gonna be very excited about. Let me show you exactly what it is. We have right here, my friends, take a look at that. Cove Castell Liquid Soap Lavender. New, it is certified organic oils, including Aragon plus Jojoba plus hemp. Absolutely fantastic. One liter of organic soap. Yes. You guys think, what in the world? Why are you so excited about soap? Guys, this is organic soap. This is like $20 soap for free for review. So I'm literally gonna take a shower with it and I'm gonna be like, does it suck? Is it good? Cool, let's go. My friends, we're starting to get backed up again. <laughs> this happens like once a month where I just let it start getting really backed up before I get some reviews in the books. I did about 20 last week or so, something like that, and now we got a lot. We got a pair of headphones, we got the bamboo speaker, the soap dispenser, the soap, more earphones I think, and the GoPro mounts, and then this this is mine already resolved whenever I spill stuff on my couch. Guys, whoo, that's a lot of product, my friends. This is probably my favorite one that I've reviewed in a while. Again, the Smart Plug Siri turns on any device in your house, anything plugged into it. Watch the vlog for You Need This For Your Home, I think the title of the vlog is. Wow, guys, all right, we still got some more organization to do. Definitely exercise tonight. Sky's the limit, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, quick decision. Normally never go to the nights, but Natalie unfortunately has been working really, really late the last couple days and we haven't been able to go to kickboxing 
Last minute decision, the instructor is gonna beat me up really good. I almost didn't go and I almost had an excuse. There's no excuses. Let's go get beat up. Terry! You know, it's gonna be one of those type of workouts where you're scared of it, but it's gonna feel so good afterwards, guys. And the reason I'm scared of it, you're like, Chris, why are you scared of a workout routine? And, and didn't you give us that whole speech about if you don't like it, don't do it thing? Guys, 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 I have a little bit of a synopsis to tell you. This instructor knows, <laughs> he knows you and he doesn't let you slack off. I try to hide in the corner so he can't see me. Nah, he doesn't let me get away with that nonsense. He beats me up my friend he's like hey you in the corner quit slacking you're in better shape than that and i'm like oh no oh no these are these are fake muscles come on now all right guys i am excited and i'm scared man we had that whole entire build up for nothing guys bummer we are now off the group on and so we were both going to sign up with this front desk gal that was going to give us a really good deal she wasn't there today so unfortunately i didn't chat this out with her beforehand i thought she was always there she normally is always there but then i'm coming to think of it i've never been here on a tuesday night before so hopefully natalie can come with me tomorrow we'll figure it out they were trying to get me for like an enrollment fee and a higher monthly fee and i'm like nah i don't really remember all this stuff of course i didn't say that to him because he's a really chill guy and these are cool instructors so i was like ah you know what let me peace out let me talk with my wife and we'll be back that's what i I was gonna say well that's what I did say anyway guys kind of a bummer because I was in the midst I just I really wanted to punch something and I don't really want to do a long-term gym membership like six plus months and pay a boatload of money because as you guys know I'm doing the man cave and I know with other people and with like instructors you know what I'm saying some of these instructors are like ex UFC fighters and they really know what they're talking about. They teach you different combinations, except you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm gonna be again putting together the man cave with a boxing gym in there, not like a boxing ring, but a Muay Thai six foot bag in my garage and with some rings. So that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So, well, it was worth the shot. We got out of the house, but kind of a bummer because that was a good 40 minutes of wasted time driving to and from. That's okay. We're gonna go exercise later on tonight. Take a look at this guys, this is one of the agenda books that I popped out of Office Depot. Look at this bad boy, brand new, and it is again a 2016 calendar. This is like actual material here. Open it up, there's actually little slots here. It's at a glance, and it's a little layout like this, and then I think it even has, yeah, the full month, and then individual weeks. Guys, these things are number one, very expensive, especially for one with a material cover right here. And again, there weren't too many like this in there but again a whole bunch probably 50 agenda books from 2016 and I know we're halfway through 2016 already but still this half a year left agenda book is absolutely awesome guys and so I'm looking forward to putting down in the books what I need to be doing the next day also so this is absolutely fantastic grab and I wanted to get that on camera because sometimes we want to go ahead and leave some action in the books Look at it. Did you see what I did? Did you see what we did? 